Okay. Um, what happens when you take this Enso pen and you accidentally leave it in your pants pocket and you put your pants in the dryer, then you end up with this pen. Uh, this is also an Enso pen. This is also in their Japanese Ebonite, uh, but this is their pocket model, which uh, is very cute because you can post it and then it becomes a normally, si normally, normally sized pen. And that's very exciting. Uh, Japanese Ebonite, very light, very cool looking, cool to the touch. Has interesting texture, which allows you to do this. I'll do this close to the mic. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. And that's it. A very kind thank you to Carlo from uh, Enzo for sending me this pen. I appreciate it. Okay, let's have a look at this Enzo Japanese Ebonite pen with the pocket pen. It comes in this cardboard box um, and there was a little Ziploc bag uh, around the pen. Here we have the actual pen, um, and here is a Pilot Metropolitan in comparison uh, for size. It's a pocket pen. It's smaller. That's kind of the point of a pocket pen. Made of Japanese ebonite, uh, which has a nice texture. Uh, it's, it's a nice, cute little size that you could definitely... Um, mistake for many other objects. Okay, let's have a look at the parts of the pen. Here at the top, the cap, solid piece of ebonite, so this is all one piece. There's nothing special in the finial. There is no clip, nor is there a clip available. Then we have the cap. It, it tapers down quite nicely. The groove where the barrel and cap meet. Here we have the actual barrel and then threads at the end. The idea of this uh, pen is, of course, that you do not use it unposted, which for me is also not really a, a feasible option, uh, but that you screw the cap onto the back of the barrel, thereby posting it. I'll zoom out a little bit. And then you have an actual normally sized pen. If you compare it to a regular sized Enso um, Japanese Ebonite, uh, you see that the posted pocket pen is actually a little bit bigger uh, than the uh, uh, regular size pen uncapped and that one does not really post okay we have a section the section is it tapers down it flares out a little bit then we have a bock steel nib with a stainless steel nib black coating extra fine fine medium broad available and you can also get a titanium nib upgrade for forty dollars from what I understood, it's a Kickstarter project, but the cheapest way to get the pen is this pen is $79 to back it. Here we have a, uh, a plastic feed. I think it's ABS, but a plastic feed. Um, unscrewing this barrel, actually, uh, you get a bit of resistance. Ew! Ew! Looks like there was a little bit of leakage. That's all right. Uh, I'll just continue talking and also clean the pen. This is one of the charms, in my mind, of the SBRE Brown video. What you see is what you get. Nothing gets edited out. Um, it's all part of growing up and being a fountain pen user, after all. Uh, so we have this. Um, this pen comes pre-treated uh, with a bit of silicone grease and a rubber O-ring, so that if you want, uh, you could eyedropper fill this barrel. Um, that will definitely hold a bit of ink, more than the cartridge will, and of course, fitting in a converter is not easy. You can use one of those squeeze-type converters, but let's face it, they're fairly useless. Then you may as well eyedropper it, of course, being careful not to accidentally unscrew the section from the barrel. I have found that when you post this, it's a very comfortable size. I like it quite a lot, uh, and it's a pretty nice nib. So let's have a look at how the pen writes. I will zoom out a little bit. What do we have here? That hard start was only because I had the nib out because I've been using it quite a bit. It hasn't hard started on me, so I will... I promise you that was not the pen's fault, but my fault. Ebonite, this is a pocket model. The nib is fine and the ink is some sort of black gray that, that came with the pen. I don't, I don't know what it was. It was a cartridge came with the pen. Okay. Um, the first thing that I, I found out when I was writing with it is that I'm using no pressure here, is that this nib is quite dry. 
and you can see that when I add some pressure it immediately gets quite a bit wetter. So this is a nib I would certainly make a bit wetter uh, if I were to uh, have purchased this pen. Um, for fast writing I use some pressure and now I don't use pressure and, and again you see that the pen runs dry. So this nib NP for no pressure P for pressure it's quite a difference in wetness right so this slit is too tight and therefore it's not getting wet yeah I'm sorry I don't know how else to put it uh, it's it's official terminology so here we have this with a bit of pressure nice wet line but without it very dry now the problem, as I've pointed out many times, is I only get one of these. Now, in this case, I'm fortunate because I have another one, which also is a Bok nib, and I'm pretty sure they're both fines. And on the regular size pen, it's much wetter. That's without any pressure. So I think it is just this particular pocket pen that has a, a, a very dry nib. Reverse writing with such a dry nib it's possible but it runs dry very quickly now should I do a shootout between these two pens yes or no leave a comment below and second thing I thought I should point out because I asked myself that question so I know that at least someone else out there will too if I were to get both of these pens could I theoretically use the cap of the full-size pen, which is a little bit longer than the cap of the pocket pen, pocket pen, full-size pen, could I use this cap on that pen, especially when posting it, to make a pen that's even longer than the pen would be posted with its own cap? And the short answer is no. These threads are not compatible on this end as well as on the other end, so forget about that idea. Just wanted to point that out in case you were considering buying both and doing that. Don't, because it won't work. Okay, let's talk about what I like and what I don't like about this pen. What do I like? What do I not like about this Enso Japanese Ebonite uh, pocket pen? There are certain things I like a lot about it. Um, one of these things is that it's a pocket pen. Pocket pens are fun that you can carry them around easily. I really like that. It's very, very light. I described that in the full-size Ebonite pen as well. If you were in the market for a very light pen, and I know that some people are, you could do a lot worse than, than use this. Um, because it is super light. There are a few things that I really like. The secure posting of the cap on the back. Um, it, it is secure. And you have a full-size pen. Very nice, very pocketable and carryable, which is really nice. And a number six nib. A lot of pocket pens have number five nibs. It is nice that you have a, a good big nib on it. Looks nice. Looks a bit disproportionate maybe when the pen is not posted, but once posted, I think it looks very good. And I really like that. Uh, I love the triple writing mode cartridges. A small converter, if you can find one, a squeeze type converter, but as I said, they're usually not very useful. Uh, but then there's the eyedropper mode, which is really cool. Comes with an O-ring pre-installed. That is really neat, I think. The titanium nib upgrade is cool. Um, in this case, I found the pen a, a very dry writer. Um, but as I said, on the full-size Ebonite model, I had the same black fine nib and that one wrote fine. So I think it is just this one that happens to be on the dry side. The final thing I will say is, I think these are $79 from what I understood from uh, Kickstarter. That is not cheap. I think for a, a small pen with a steel nib, 80 bucks is, is not, not cheap. Um, you do get a nice amount of functionality for that with the eyedropper uh, capability, which is nice for artists and such. I think of urban sketches, etc. Um, nice nib options, etc. But it's, in my mind, it's not cheap. So there you have it. I hope. This was useful. A very kind thank you to Enso for sending me the pen. I appreciate it. Um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.